got this camera running on video mode. I've never introduced this farm. This is the walnut farm. A very small farm in size, uh, once again. But Shay and I came in here last week. We put up a vine. And um, when we were coming in here, we kicked up a pretty decent buck. Shay saw him. I didn't get to see him. But sure enough, that night, he came back through. and uh, Or maybe the next day, he came back through, worked this vine scrape. And Shay confirmed that it was the same buck. So it's a potential spot. We might sit here tomorrow morning. We kicked up a couple deer coming in here. They were bedded right on the creek, but there was a couple up on this top. But it'd be a good buck for Shay. Nonetheless, this is just a farm I run cameras on, and who knows, maybe one year I might have a mega giant on it and I'll hunt it. So we're gonna get out of here. I got one more tracks actually that I want to hang in here. And then we're gonna make a game plan for tonight. I need to check the wind out. It looks like it's switching from east, southeast, over to west for tonight, maybe northwest. So I might make a new plan. Golden. We just got access, permission to access uh, where we were hunting last night from the south. So we get a northwest westerly wind today. We're gonna get kind of up in this fence gap that we were kind of, we saw yesterday and marked it as a potential spot for, for today. And I really think we're gonna see everything that I, we couldn't see last night. I made that really complicated but essentially we get to see the most secluded part of this field and uh i'm excited so we'll see if old lucky ain't ain't here or not today We just got set up um, access from the north yesterday we accessed coming in from the west and today we have a westerly and it's gonna switch at dark to a north wind and what we're overlooking right now is exactly where that first buck that we saw last night it's exactly where he came out all these bucks are doing is they're just bedding along this creek in this open ag field it's probably 10 yards wide um, but the cover goes about well, it's over your head, it's probably eight foot. And uh, there's a lot of mulberry and osage all throughout it, which makes for really nice shading. Hopefully these deer move a little earlier tonight. By the way, if you guys have not gone and check out Owen's blog yet, he's making his first sit for Loch Ness, I'm pretty sure tonight, and I'm absolutely stoked for him to kill that deer. Him and Devin are gonna lay it down good this year. But rise over at the River Bottom Farm, hopefully he wax all the type 10. Who else is hunting today? Josh is probably hunting. Hopefully some deer die today, but hopefully they'll be on their feet. It's a little cooler than yesterday. Um, so we'll see if we can't learn something new.
or just wrapping up the night's hunt. Um, just another observational sit. And, um, you know, it's interesting where these deer are bedding right now. Off my left shoulder, uh, there's a little weed strip, I guess, so to say. And uh, it's very, very, very tiny. You'd never think there'd be a buck bed in there, and sure enough, there was. But I think I finally understand how the deer move on this farm. I think it's only going to take two cameras to run it well and understand what's in here. So I'm going to get off of this farm for probably the rest of the week. I'm probably going to go over to the lucky farm tomorrow. He hasn't been showing up, neither is OG. But I'm hopeful. I think that once he's I think that once the corn just starts coming out that these deer are going to get a little bit more consistent because there's absolutely no cover out here and I've been fortunate enough to gain access to the only cover that's out here so it'll be a fun one you guys I'm excited to chase this block so catch up with you tomorrow <laughs> I suck it closing these things I need like a phrase. What was Bill's? Dream big? <laughs>